think he'd be great for it. Mike, I got a question. Did you say positionless or positionless or list? Positionless, like just no, like just like you know, just he's more of you know, doesn't he just sticks out one, two, three, four, five as opposed to, yeah. um, you know, telling a kid you're the left D and that's what your dad says you're best at and that's who you're going to be for the rest of your career. I I just wanted to throw this in for everybody. I I believe for over thirty years we've advocated one, two, three, four, five once the puck is dropped, but especially. The last five years, and I know with this group and Tom Malloy in particular, once the face-offs made, uh, you have to read the position in his first, second, third, fourth, fifth now with the way they're engaging D. So it starts at minor hockey, and maybe as the kids grow up and those young coaches buy into that free pay concept, um, the hockey world will become more open-minded to yelling and telling structured coaching. So that's just uh, something to let you know uh, uh, what we've been talking about for quite a length of time here. So does anybody want to add on anything to the line between coaches possibly over coaching and the line between structure and the freedom to make decisions? Anybody? Barry, I'm wondering. Uh, I don't. Th- I don't see Barry Midori still on, but I'm curious. He works with. He's worked with national coaches uh, at the U17 level with five national teams, and he works with eight provincial zone teams. And Tim is a mentor of those teams. So Barry's, they- still, Barry's still on, Bo Wally. Okay, Barry, yeah, can you he- comment on that in terms of the challenge you face? with staffs coming in to uh, the philosophy of, uh, and positionless is a bit frightening term for some people, but would you comment? 